Okay, today, um, doing a little airsoft review. <coughs> and, um, we, like, we're doing an airsoft review. I am just getting into airsoft, and I know I don't have the best guns, but I have three guns right now. And my very first one that I got for Christmas got this one right here it's some metal the barrel is metal um the magazine is metal and you can actually flip this thing down and this is the Coretta uh and Coretta Coretta Bretta, I think, but I've done a review on this one already. This is my very first one, and this can come off like that. It holds 12 rounds. I broke the magazine, but it still fires some. And just in case of jamming like that right there, you can just get like a your nail popping out. Because it had jam, now it's not jam. So, uh, this is my first ever one. This is the Airsoft Collection. So, the Beretta, Beretta, that's the first, one, the first ever Airsoft gun. And I hadn't done a review on this one. Uh, the M74 little. Yeah, M74. This is a great gun. It's electrical. The battery compartment is right here. You can store BBs in there if you don't have batteries. It is electrical. It's spring powered. All of my guns are spring powered. Uh, cause I am I am a beginner. And uh, this uh, this is like 95 F FPS. This is 190 or 180 something in the 100s uh, range, and uh, it's a pretty good gun. Uh, okay, it, it came with the scope on right here, but in it put um, it put. You would, yeah, you would just lift that right there and put the BBs inside of here. So this is kind of like the magazine, but I took that off. I just got a um, flathead screwdriver, put it under there, and pried it off, and it came right off. And it looks a lot better now. Yeah, it looks a lot better without the scope. Because this is scope, it was annoying. You cannot see through it. It's black all the way through, and uh, it used to hold 200 rounds, but it doesn't matter. Really, it doesn't matter. You can, and if you want to load the BBs without this in there, you can just press this little tab that flips back like that and it flips forward. Like and the sight is pretty good. It was horrible with this thing on here, so that's why I took that off. And uh, this looks pretty good. This actually is not the mag. I at first I thought that was. I was trying to push buttons on here, and it didn't work. And also, if you want to cock this back, you have to cock it back by this. If you don't have any batteries in there, if you want to fire it with full auto, it says. Hold to fire full auto right there. But you probably can't see it. But you probably can't see it. But if you want to fire full auto, this is on safety. That that semi 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 and then you pull it all the way down to fire. But I have no batteries in here right now, so it won't work. That's safety. And that is Simi. So, that's pretty much it for that gun. And my last gun is the 
best out of all three of these. It is the shotgun. It's pretty good and 400 FPS. Cost ten dollars. Oh, by the way, I don't know how much this one costs. My dad got it for me, and this one costs sixteen dollars. And this one costs ten. It has four hundred FPS. Oh, uh, in the in the video that I showed, I said this was metal, but I correct myself. It's plastic. So this gun is all plastic, and um. Uh, do not shoot me by if you're, if you're not gonna um uh have it like in the airsoft war, then don't shoot anybody. If you if somebody doesn't have a gun in the airsoft war and they say stop, don't shoot me because it will hurt. And always have protection on when you're wearing like eye protection. Uh, so this one Wait, I already told you that. Mm, I don't think there's anything about this one. There is no safety on it, so you want to have, if you're storing it inside of the house, have no BBs inside of it. Never put BBs inside of a seriously uh, good gun that is like. BBs, if you're going to have a, like, 300 FPS, uh, gun up above in the house, don't have any BBs in it, because it could drop and it could fire, so, that's it for that gun, oh, and I forgot to tell you about the safeties on this gun, okay, so the safety on this gun is right there, uh, safety is pretty good. You can still cock the gun, put the safety on, and you can still pull the hammer. But you can't pull the trigger. You can't pull the trigger. If you put safety on fire, if you put, uh, if you put this little thing on fire, um, you can't. And, this thing, and if you just pull this back, it will not fire. It will just, the hammer will just hit right there on that this little metal thing right there. And you want to just play around. It is good. Pretty much it for this gun. And for this gun. I think I already should do safety on that. So we're good on this. All the sights are good. That sight is good. It has a rear sight and a front sight. And so does this guy. It has a rear sight. Oh, and I love this gun, but I'll pull the sight back. And it has a front sight. This gun. Oh, and this is my Airsoft collection so far. So I'm going to get more guns. And this is pretty accurate. Lined up with the camera. Yeah, and that sight is pretty good. And if you have the, the scope on this gun, and you look through this sight right here, this sight is not accurate. See, there's a front sight and a rear sight on this. But I suggest taking this off. You can either like pull it off with your hands or get a flathead screwdriver and pry it off. That's what I did because I don't want to break my gun. And that is pretty much it for this video. And if you have any 